Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our entry level 2 megabase, where we in the last episode just got this beauty of a setup up and running, which is uh, currently very trying very hard to drain all the copper we have in our base, and it's doing a pretty darn good job. So in today's episode, we will finally start to get red circuits into our mall down here, and we'll probably set up a second grid to handle fluids as it stands right now. We only have room for two more inputs here. One of them will be red circuits. And um, then I kind of want to have a second one over here with eight new slots for fluids. So if you think that's a cool idea, do remember to leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. And with that, let's get on with today's episode. So um, firstly, I'll just go and pick up my car, since uh, from now on, we will travel in style, not in the car anymore, we will travel by train. So, um, if you didn't know, you can jump in a train yourself, but if you go into the map view and, uh, and hold down shift, you're able to get you to transport to different parts of the map. For example, if you want to go, hold control, you can go to here, shift, you can go to train stations. Hold on control, you say, I want to go to Rip General, for example. I want to go here. Then you get a temporary station that just sends you there and waits. So it's a very, very good way to get around the base when you have a pretty decently sized uh, train grid at the moment. And it's way, way faster than doing it by, um, by car. So um, since we want to set up the fluid grid over here, or at least get the fluid items in. Let's get the robots to start build, building it while we set up the red circuit input over on this side to be used in our mall. So let's just copy the one we need. We need this one. That should fit in very nicely. Oh, you can just get built if you have enough for it. Remove that. Take these ones over here and just place it in Right there. So as you can see, blue belts has become our Achilles heel, so we'll have to uh, get that made somewhat quickly, as we don't have too much in storage of uh, of those kind of things. The same with our red circuits. Uh, oh, did not mean to. Ooh, that's not. Stop that. For some reason, I've started to cut and paste instead of copy and paste. Don't know why. There we are. You two go there. And the power. And I don't know why. So uh, now we have this one. We can start to send trains. I do need to get the last few splitters down. So I'll just go and pick those up in the old mall and then be back in just a second. So just went and picked up a few of the things we need to finish this build and be able to get our red circuits in. So now this is fully fully set up. Let's rename this one to Advanced Circuit Unloading. Might as well do it easy like that. And uh, then set up some trains to, to deliver the things we need. Again, we'll just do a constant of something. Less than 8k. You'll send two trains to pick up things. Delivering in... What's that gonna be? 16,000 something red circuits to be used in our mall. Uh, I don't mind buffering a bit. It's 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 fine. It makes it easier going forward. So let's add in the two trains we need. Because we haven't set up red circuit trains yet. You're here. Let's do two more. I think you kind of understand the premise of this and why it's good. And let's sign you. Advanced loading until full until empty depot depot inactive and inactive again load unload full empty perfect there we are here is some call for you to get you going and then we'll finally have advanced circuits flowing into our base. 
and hopefully we have enough uh, depot slots for it because as you can see our depot is starting to get a bit cramped so we uh, we need to make a second one uh, sometime in the future and uh, that'll make it also easier with the, the congestion down here if we have one maybe up here one over here and maybe one down here at some point so they're a bit spread out and uh, leaves, leaves enough room for uh, multiple trains to dock. So now I'll just leave this. It will bring in the red circuits. They'll get picked up by the tr uh, robots. And then we'll start to craft all of the storage chests, all of uh, our furnaces and such. And have a nice surplus here. So now we want to set up a fluid area over here. Uh, fluids is a bit different compared to these, but not a lot. So um, if we take our current setup for a mall being this one, uh, let's just place one down and delete the other one, because this is pretty much how a fluid setup will look. And then we'll have pipes going down this way. Now let's just get a few of those in my inventory to make it a bit easier to do. Please bring it that. Uh, that should be fine. We can go away. So uh, this will pretty much be our setup for the fluids. We can get the fluids in up here up top. Uh, might be the easiest place to, place to do it. So for example, in these we want to make or right here. We can just flip you over here, change a bit what you're gonna make. So right now we have three things set up that is easily expandable to more. So um, that'll be fine. Here comes all of the things for me. Let's just get this done a bit quicker. Can't wait. So that's the belts. This will be undergrounds and this will be splitters because by setting this up we now have a system where we have it all in-house instead of having to go out of our way to get it and let's do 200 of you let's do 200 of you as well don't need to handcraft a few since we are not making enough yet i mean always have four 200 splitters 200 undergrounds and 1000 belts I think that's how we want to do it. So now to get it in, we'll take our train fluid unloading, this one. And you will, wow, look, it actually lines up directly beneath this one, which is actually very, very good. And let's craft eight of you. Did we never set that up over here? Uh, let's just rectify that. Oh wait, they are right here, so that's no problem. There goes the pumps. That is pretty much the setup we'll need for our lubricant flowing in, going into our setup right here. That means you will request just from the right of this, please request here, here, and here. As you can see, that's gonna take what we're already making. Has the red circuit been delivered yet? Not quite. They are being picked up, so this should be here soon. We'll get 32,000 unloaded down here. Let's see where that's. Right there. So we can get um, all the things we need uh, built and we can start to craft all of our belts as well. Look at that beauty. Very nice. Now robots should start to pick them up and deliver them wherever they need them them all. Otherwise, let's just get... That seems good. They'll start to build, they'll start to craft, and we don't need it to be overly fast just yet. As uh, this should supply more than what we need, and then we have this setup that is gonna do this for us. Lubricant is zero, you'll open. That means John Weinberg, or Weinberg, a Johan Weinberg is open. This will of course change the lubricant. Do we have a lubricant somewhere? Thank God. Lubricant unloading. Thank you. Do two trains of these. Could in theory just go with one. Uh, as lubricant is not a high throughput one. And that'll make sure we don't have uh, 
what's it called, twice as much stored here. So let's just let's just use one train for now, as that will help our throughput a bit, and we can always just add more in the future. Luckily, that is very, very easy to do. So, depot. I will just go with two. We always do two trains. To future prove it a bit. Loading, unloading. All empty. Wait and wait. There we are. Let's get a second train as well. And get you set up. And let's remember to put the correct in. That is loading train. There we are. And then we'll finally have lubricant in our system as well. Bye bye, little train. Go do your thing. Please unload all the lubricant you can into the system. Because that will activate our um, belt production and such, giving us one belt every uh, half a second. So two per second. And that is, uh, is going to be more than fast enough what we need. Consuming a ton of lubricant and a ton of uh, <laughs> gear wheels that's most definitely can't keep up at the moment. So, so that is looking very, very good. We should also get robotic uh, logistic robots set up at some point. The thing is, we don't have flying robot frames here yet. So that is one of the things we'll work on as well going forward. But what we can do, and something um, I'll show as well in this episode, might as well, is that there's a good way to uh, add robots to your network in case you are missing any. So for example, let's do right here. Logistic robots, please request what you need. Construction robots, please request what you need. Then we'll just add these into the system pretty much. You can just go in here for now. And we can take a few in here. Just to get some crafted. And we'll need some green circuits. That will luckily get requested by itself. But what we can do now that we have this being made is that we can do a little circuitry <clears throat> in this corner that makes sure that we always have our robots being filled in in case we need more. That is good in terms of building the base and expanding out. So uh, why don't we just set that up? The only thing it requires is two requested chests, a bit of wire and two inserters. So if we look here, one, two. We'll just do two normal inserters if we have any on us. We have two. One, two. Give it a small amount of power. And what we want to do then is connect these up, these, until it read uh, robotic statistics. That is uh, is very very important. As you can see, this shows X, Y, C, and T. In available logistic robots, total logistic bots, available construction bots, total construction bots. And what we want to use here is the available one, so X and C. To so save C, or sorry, X, that'll be uh, here, that will be our logistic bots. That is less than, let's say, 50. If less than 50 is available, you will activate. Let's see, this one we have zero available, that means it'll activate. This one over here will be then the C. If set, set or C set is less than 50, you will activate. And what this does is it enables us to add more robots to the network if it's needed, if supply all of a sudden changes. It's a good way to do it so you don't have to worry about it in the future. You can request 50 to be in this one. You can request 50 logistic bots, it's being that one. And as you see, now it adds them in until the logistic box goes to a point where it says more than 50 is, uh, is available. And that's a way to automate um, how many robots you have moving in your network. So that is, uh, is very, very cool and a good way to do it. Now we can leave that alone. Looking very, very good. We have things being made here. So it, should we look at what else we need? So we did set up what's it called 
one fluid setup over here. I do want to set up one other one, and that is our concrete. We're still missing the iron oil. I don't think we even have it on a train yet, but this is also a fluid I want to get made in our, our mall, or concrete I want to get made here. Because we need both a refined concrete and normal concrete. Then we can up that into other concrete if you want to make a base look a little bit better. Or just for the increased walking speed. So um, if we just add in what, um, let's say it over here. I guess it's going to be fluid 2. There we are. Please add that in. Then we'll take pretty much this setup. But remember to clear out. Let's see, how, where does it line up? Right here. Ooh, that correct. There. Let's move that one for now. And get used to make concrete and other things that we just need in... Not in bulk, but um, just small amounts. So let's change you. And you. Into a concrete production. You'll make one per second when running full speed. This one require less than, wait, does that gonna be a bit more than one per second? So you might want to have two of these. Let's do that, so you can request it in. I know we don't have it flowing yet. That will be fine like this. There we are, requesting in what we need. And the, that will start to make concrete for us. 1000 concrete should be fine in storage in both of these. And then we can set it up to make the other things as well. For example, hazardous concrete or um, fine concrete. But let's just get these two first because the other one is, is quite easy to set up, but we want it anyway. I'll just do it in the same one because why not? We could do it next to it to not have uh, the water lines being used. But uh, I think I think it'll be fine doing it like this. So you can go up this way, like before, and there we are. You will get water, in. water, and let's set you up to water instead. And here again, the power of uh, the train grid. Water unloading. Thank you. That will request trains right away. Get the water in, and get it out into our system. We're already making belts over here as well. So that is looking very good. Being used around the base. So uh, should we just quickly hook up refined concrete as well? I think that will be a good idea. So let's just take you. Take that one away. Obviously that one that's for fluids. Let's actually do that before we do anything else. There we are. Let's copy this one to the blueprint book. Do it more. Thank you. We can go in a blueprint book. Put the mall ones down here for now. Or we can have them up here and move the mining down there. There we are. You'll all change into making refined concrete. Whilst we do want some of everything. That will start to request in the things it needs. And uh, then this can pretty much start to make things we need. Uh, we might need faster inserters though. So let's upgrade here and here. I don't want that to be a limiting factor. As it does produce, it's only every 15 seconds. So it might not, have let's just get them back again. It's, it's not going to be needed. It's not that fast as it stands right now with the crafting speed. And um, yeah, now we're making concrete as well. Uh, over here we can set up the other two, the hazardous concrete and the refined concrete. But I kind of just want it to be... Should it just be on the side of this one? Because we don't have that much that requires water. That is quite important to think about. Um, we can do it on the side, maybe. 
Let's just set it here. It's mostly because it's travel distance. I don't want to get it too far away. What if we do... Two... Four... Six... Something like that. That looks pretty good. And let's get you to make refined. Refined sort hazardous concrete. As you're right next to this one. Let's make four so we have double. We'll want to flip it around. As right now it's upside down. There we are. It's a small thing, but <laughs> I do want it to look the best. So hazardous concrete. And then do comment what kind of designs you want uh, for these. We'll make an entire grid of them later. If you need, if you design something insane, depending on how these should look with concrete, I will make an entire grid where we can seriously expand it out a lot. That is what you guys want to see. Let's see, you want to be fine. There we are, and then we have these two in the middle three for now. Let's get ourselves a few stacks of each. Please request that and that. Here and here. And uh, there we are. That's good. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, good. I was about to see if it requires water. That would have been kind of silly. But the robots will move this back and forth. Will uh, not be the most efficient, but it should get the job done making a, diff a whole ton of different kind of concrete for us. So um, so that is pretty good in terms of uh, what we need to make the base look a bit more industrial in the future. So anything else I want to get set up in this episode? Um, don't think there's much more. Uh, one thing we can do is just start a bit of research. Might as well get the rocket silo research done so we don't so we ain't missing that when we want to uh, to get to it. And let's get the space science done. And then we're actually at the point where uh, some of the last things we need. I can get done as well. Is our, um, our military science that we should probably set up sometime in the future. But, the, but yeah, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode so um thank you so much for watching guys uh, do comment about the uh, blueprints with hazardous concrete and such for uh, for this kind of design you can get the design blueprint from uh, my discord and then you can design it in your own world and send it to me and then i'll try and implement the coolest one we have maybe even with lights or something like that if you think that would be cool so um yeah that sounds cool. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Do remember to like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And that's I've been Degray, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.